guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. This is your Happy New Year's Pilates class for 2024. It is full body, no equipment, and it is express style because I know today we're probably tired from staying up so late. So we're gonna get right into it. Meet me on the mat in an all fours position. You're gonna plant your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, and then have your toes tucked for me. Extend your left leg straight back behind you with a flexed foot. And we're gonna lift that left leg up, squeezing into the left glute, and then tap it on down. So I'm gonna give some modifications and advancements throughout this class so we can make it kind of all levels. Okay, if you wanna add on to this one, you're gonna tuck the right toes under and hover that right knee as we do this left leg leg lift. <laughs> Good, squeezing up through center. Keep that core nice and tight. Good work, guys. Good, remembering to exhale on the lift and inhale on the lower. Woo, starting to feel a little shake in that right thigh. Okay, we're gonna go for five more and then everyone's gonna set that right knee down if it's lifted in four, for three, and two. Last one, keep the left leg up, lower the right knee down, take the hands a little bit wider, and take it down into a push-up hold. Stay nice and low in that chest, and give me small little leg lifts into that left glute, squeezing up. Once you see what I'm doing, look to the floor and keep that neck nice and long. A little lift and lift. Making sure you do that isometric squeeze every time at the top. Okay, let's let it burn right here. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That's it for 3, 2, and 1. Take it down. We're going right into the other side. So take those hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck your toes behind you. Extend your right leg straight back behind you. We're going to go for that leg lift and lower. Heart rate is coming up. Okay, if you want to take the advanced option, we're going to hover the left knee as we do the leg lift. Nice work, guys. The more you can keep that left knee close to the floor, the harder it is. So try not to straighten the leg too much if you really want to go for it. Okay, we're going to go for nine more. We got nine, eight, seven, six, and five. The left knee is going to rest down in four, for three, and two. Keep the right leg up, lower the left knee down. Take the hands a little bit wider. Bend down into your push-up hold. Keep that right leg high. We got those tiny little pulses. Okay, once you see me, look at the mat and keep your shoulders down, your neck nice and long. Lift up and up. We got 30. You already know we did a ton on the last side, so I can't surprise you on this side. That's it, that's halfway. You're there in 10, nine, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Step it into kneeling. Okay, so turning face on, long ways of the mat. We're gonna go into some oblique work now. So extend that right leg straight out to the right of the hip, foot in line with the left knee. Take your arms to a wide T and take that left hand to the floor right underneath that left shoulder. Your left hand is gonna tap your ear and then tap the ground. You can feel when that left hand lifts, that right oblique turns on. If you want a little bit more, you can put, my eyes are tearing up for some reason, you can put that right hand behind your head. Okay, make sure not to back bend the spine here. Awesome job. Okay, navel's pulling up, getting long through the crown of the head. Okay, let's go for two more. Last one, hands stay behind the head. We're gonna twist it out. Turn the chest to the floor, back to center. 
twisting the waist, but not the hips. You got it. These are always fiery. Give me six. And five. For four. And three. We're gonna square off in two. Okay, last one. Chest is face on, little lifts. Right through that right oblique. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Okay, step to kneeling, right into the other side. So left leg's going straight out to the left of your hip. Arms are to a T. We're gonna side bend to the right. That right hand is underneath the shoulder and we're gonna tap the right hand to the right ear and then back to the mat. Right ear, back to the mat. If you want more, you can add that left hand behind the head. Remember, we're stabilizing in the lower body. So your right chin and your left foot should be grounded. Woo, second side's feeling a little spicier. <laughs> okay, let's go for four, and then we're gonna add that twist. Three, two, last one, hands behind the head, turn the chest to the floor, and then square off. Remember, you're leaning far enough over to the right that it's challenging. So if it's too hard, you can come up higher, but if you're like, I don't feel anything, you gotta lean over a little bit further. Okay, five more, and then we're gonna square off for our pulses. In five, four, Three, two, last one. Chest faces forward and we go little lifts through that left oblique. So you can soften your shoulders. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna come into those inner thighs in two and one. Woo, bring it up. Come to lay over on your left forearm. So elbow underneath the shoulder. Left leg is straight to the front corner of the mat. Right hand's gonna grab that right ankle. We're gonna roll back a little bit on the bottom hip, lift your bottom leg up and lower down. I did not account for a decline behind me, <laughs> a slope down into the water. So hopefully don't fall backwards. That would not be ideal, but maybe it'd be funny for you. Big squeeze up. Okay, if you're advanced, I want you to really try to tap that leg each time. If you don't have the flexibility, you can bend the knee. Okay, let's get it going. Squeeze, release. Nice job. Okay, I'm trying to maintain my toes pointed, straighten through the kneecaps by drawing the quads up. Let's go for nine right here. We got nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, turn over to take a seat on your hips. We're gonna cross that left ankle over the right thigh. Plant the right foot not too close to you, a little bit further out. Hands are behind you underneath your shoulders. You're gonna open up through that chest. For our reverse planks, press down through your right foot, lift your hips, and then tap the tailbone down. Good, exhale, push down through that right foot. Squeeze the glute and the hamstring at the top and tap it down. Okay, we're gonna go for eight. Try to not really rest your hips at the bottom. If you need to modify, you can put both feet down on the floor. Okay, let's do five more for five and four. We're gonna finish this one off with an isometric hold for three and two. Okay, keep your hips up on one. Drive that right foot into the floor. We're holding for 10, nine, eight. Lift those hips, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one we take it down okay right side inner thighs so come on over to that right forearm extend your right leg to the front corner of the room 
point the toes, turn the knee out, and grab that left ankle. Rolling back just a little bit, but not too much that we fall over. We're gonna lift and squeeze at the top. You got it. Hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful view. We're here in Naples, Florida for New Year's. So I thought I'd film a class for you guys so we could kick 2024 off strong. Good, squeeze it up. Okay, we're halfway. We're doing 30. <laughs> One, 15 to go. And two, three, four, and five. You've got 10 more. We've got 10. Remember, full squeeze at the top. Eight, seven, keep those legs straight. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Big squeeze and we take a seat. Okay, so you're gonna cross that right ankle over your left thigh. Plant your left foot in line with your hip. Hands are slightly turned out behind you. You're gonna open your chest up, press down through that left foot and squeeze into your left glute at the top and then we tap it down. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Okay, looking good guys. Okay, we're gonna go for five more and then we got that isometric hold in five, four, Three, two, okay, holding on one, open that chest, lift your hips, we're holding for 10, nine, eight, are we smiling yet? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down and you're gonna flip over onto your stomach. Okay, so if you have any problems with your lower back, you can lay all the way down on your forms for this one. Otherwise, the variation is gonna be to be propped up like a sphinx pose on the form, so elbows underneath the shoulders. I want you to turn your knees straight down to the floor so we're parallel. Push against the ground with your forearms and then bend the knees, heels underneath those glutes. And you're gonna lift your right leg up, keeping your knee bent. So we're in a donkey kick position Okay, it's pretty challenging to get your thigh up. So if you cannot get your thigh up, rest your head down. Big lift and squeeze. Nice work. Make sure not to straighten that leg. I forgot how many mosquitoes were here in Florida, but I'm now being reminded. <laughs> Definitely different in California. Okay, you're gonna give me five more right here for five, four, three. Notice my chest isn't moving as I lift the leg. Two, and one. Switching sides to that left leg. Both legs are staying in the same position. Now we're just lifting and lowering that left leg. Okay, I'm making sure my abs are drawn in. And then, like I said, if you're feeling any tension in that lower back, I want you to rest the upper body down. Good, you're halfway for 10, nine, eight, seven. So it doesn't matter how high the leg goes, it's just about making sure you feel it in the hamstring and your glute. For five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, so the legs are gonna extend long. Your hands are gonna be planted a little closer and wider. Elbows are now up. So we're gonna inhale up into our cobra. Hamstrings curl the legs. Exhale, extend the legs. Now I'm really feeling those hamstrings. So as the chest comes up, the heels curl in and we lower down. Exhale, squeeze through the back of the legs. Drop the shoulders at the top. Good, you're here for six. And five. 
for four and three. Last two. Okay, last one. We're holding up. This is like our rocking prep position. Knees are pointing down, shoulders are dropping, hamstrings are working. Last four, three, two, one. Release. Good work, guys. Okay, we're gonna find a high plank here. So your hands are underneath the shoulders, toes are tucked behind you. I'm gonna have some fun to finish this workout up with those abs. So you can always modify if you need to be on your knees. Otherwise, you're gonna tuck your toes and we're coming up into our high plank. Okay, so we're gonna get into the outer hips just a little bit. Bend your right knee to a tabletop, keeping your hips squared. We're gonna go into our fire hydrants here, turning that right knee out to the side, keeping everything else still. Good work, guys. Okay, you've got four. That knee is gonna stay turned out in three, for two. Hold it turned out on one. You're gonna extend the leg and then bend the knee, keeping the hip squared. You can always modify by putting that left knee down. Okay, you've got six. Five stays still, just that lower leg is extending for four and three. For two, hold it right, pulse the leg straight out. Ten, nine, don't drop it too much. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knee and take it down. Okay, quickly, let's set up for the other side. This is it to finish off our Happy New Year's Pilates. So take it to a high plank. Remember, you can always keep the right knee down if you want to modify. Bring that left knee to tabletop underneath your hip, and then open that left knee out to the left, and then back to a hover. Squeezing into that outer left glute. Everything else is staying still and strong. Good, we're here for five. And then we're gonna hit those leg extensions for three and two. Okay, keep that left knee pointing left. Point the left toes, extend the leg left, bend the knee. Extend and bend, home stretch. Don't drop if you can keep it up. We've got seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna pulse in two. Okay, keep the leg straight on one. Just give me those lifts. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, okay guys. Bend the knee and take a seat. With your heels up, toes untucked, take a seat down and we're gonna stretch it out. So we're gonna make a little cactus shape with those arms. We're gonna open that chest up and take a big breath in and then bring the forearms together. Round out that spine. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the back. Let's take three more. Slowing down the breath, slowing down the breathing. Last two. One more, inhale, open the heart, and exhale, round the back. Okay, bring it on up to kneeling, and let's stretch out just a little bit more to wrap this class up and get us going into 2024. So take that left leg straight on in front of you, tilt your tailbone back, and then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Getting a nice hamstring stretch here. Whew, that is tight from what we just did. Okay, bend the left knee, bring the hands to the inside of the foot and drop the hips. Good, and then press it back, step to kneeling, and let's take this to the right. So that right leg is going straight through for our half splits, heel in line with hip, open the chest, and lengthen forward. And remember, if this is really tight, I'm feeling it right now. You can always put a bend in that knee. Good, and then let's bend into the right knee, drop the hips, bring the hands to the inside of that right foot and lift the chest. Good, and then let's step it back in. 
awesome work, you guys. Thank you for joining me for our Happy New Year's Pilates. This is Pilates On Demand. This is Lindsay. I'd love to have you here today. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next workout. Bye, guys.